press conference uh, or rather the journalists over there as much violence has ensued also expectedly enough in West Bengal during the panchayat polls. Uh, let's quickly go across to Kamalika Sengupta who's joining us with more details. Uh, Kamalika, if you could just uh, give us in a gist all those key takeaways in terms of what Suvendu Adhikari just had to say. Well, a major key takeaway uh, that Shubhendu Adhikari stated is that she's, he's demanding 356. He's saying that there's no situation, there's no democracy. Now, he's saying, come what he, um, uh, may, there should be 356, should be impo imposed in Bengal because there has been no democracy. They are uh, they are actually intimidating people. They are allegations. Uh, Shubhendu Adhikari's direct allegation is there has to be 356. And also that the state government, the state election commission, has not followed. Central post को deplete करने का responsibility राजीव सिन्हा का था और उन्होंने SP का पास भेज दिया साब SP ममता की कैडर है। कोर्ट का order ये लोग implement नहीं किया है। इसलिए ट्यूसडे मेरा कॉम्पेंट क्वांटम पिटिशन में होगा पश्चिम बंगाल में जो पैमाना पंचायत चुनाव में हो रहा है उसको देखते हुए टीएमसी कार्यकर्ता भी कह रहे हैं कि गोली मार दिया जा रहा है कौन है ये जो वायलेंस कर रहे हैं 10 दिन आपने एक पिटिशन डाला था जिसमें पोस्ट पर वायलेंस का 10 टीएमसी का गुंडा और पुलिस का मिला भगत है इसलिए इतना होता हो रहा है ममता बनर्जी भी क्या कहना चाहेंगे जिस तरह से चुनाव अपनी खून हिंसा के लिए जिम्मेदार है वो अब जिम्मेदार है उसकी मैं बात में दूंगा all right, uh, so leader of opposition Suvendu Adhikari over there uh, addressing the press and also stating that the police is being controlled by the Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee and that he will be filing a contempt petition on Tuesday. He's also go on, gone on to say that there's been no heed being paid to what the High Court order was. On that note, let's bring you some quick Ground Zero reports in terms of what's happening as far as the Panchayat polls in West Bengal are concerned. This is Chak Morita in Bhangor where a uh, little by ago firing has taken place and as you can see huge police personnel are there with RAF, the state police along with the entire team they are now uh, in this region a little while ago. What we are getting is that uh, there has been firing in this place and now you can see that you con huge contingent of police is there. This is a place in Bhangor uh, called uh, Chak Morita and Allegedly, two ISA workers have been shot. That's what we are getting. As you can see, that uh, police is there and people. This is the uh, area where in the morning this uh, firing has taken place. And as you can see, there is a booth. So this incident took place near the booth and, uh, and, and huge police presence is now there. But things were absolutely not right in this area. So this is the place where both... A Trinamool Congress and ISF is very strong and, and you can see that, uh, that the police presence is there but this is the area where the incident has taken place that's what we are getting it from the ground and you can see the remnants of, of what has happened that is still lying there you can see that uh, on the roads uh, this, this, this incident remnants are there this is the, the bombing has taken place and you can see it's all there in the in the roads and and there is allegation counter allegation from both the sides that that shooting took place here and you can see oh you can see that blood is here and here the firing took place and and you can see that this is the place where the ISF person was actually fired. Definitely, this is a booth and this is where the blood has, uh, you can see the blood and this is the ground situation is still now the blood is here. So it's quite clear that as expected, Bangor has been violent from the morning. Uh, this is the place where where the ISF worker has been has been killed as his and his leg the uh, the the actually the bullet has been has gone to his leg has been taken to hospital right now huge police is present there but most of the people they does not want to talk
We are right at the crossroad of the main area of Nandigram and we have been talking about Nandigram being also one of the sensitive areas because this is Suvendu Adhikari area of the BJP and where Mamta Banerjee was defeated. Right behind me, you can see the central forces which were deployed. They've right arrived over here and their main task essentially is going to try and ensure that peaceful voting takes place. Uh, the voting, of course, in Nandigram has already uh, arrived. Now, the biggest problem for the central forces is also that most of them are, them are from outside side of Bengal and they may not be very uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, aware of the particular area or the terrain. Many of the villages are deep inside and should there be any incidents of violence, it may be difficult for them to reach that spot immediately. But the government's logic is and also the court's logic is that they are reassurance. Their presence is reassurance. These are confidence building measures where the people cannot uh, fear, they need not fear, they can easily go in and cast their vote and that's the entire idea of central forces. The most high profile panchayat election starts in Bengal with the reports of two deaths coming from Murshidabad and certain incidents that has taken place in various parts of Kuch Bihar, uh, Murshidabad. The initial reports are coming in that violence has taken place in those areas. Right now we are standing in Bhangor, one of the most uh, important centers, one of the most important uh, place where uh, a lot of violence took place during the nomination period. You can see that from the morning people are standing in queue they are ready to uh, they are ready to cast their vote would just like to ask people vote denge just would राज्य सरकार राज्य लोकल बडीज भोटे सेंट्रल फोर्स जाए केस कर राज्य चुवाल्लिस हजार प्रिमिसेस Shocking and tragic incidents have unfolded the night before the voting which has just started this morning in the Panchayat elections in West Bengal. The BJP, CPM and the Congress who had colluded together, they were clamoring for the central forces. Where is the deployment? Why have the central forces failed to protect the citizens? Trinamool Congress workers have been murdered. Two have been shot at in Domkol. And those who were asking for deployment and they were saying that these central forces were the guardians of peace. The guardians have failed. They have faltered to protect the rights of the citizens. <laughs> तृणमूल कॉग्रेस कैम्प थे स्लिप बिली करा भोटार स्लिप से तेरे उठिए देवार चेष्टा कर ग्रामबाशी सबाई प्रतिबाद करते शुरू करते बाध्य हन देखो भोट चार दिखे शांतिपूर्ण भाव शुरू होतकाल रात भोटे प्रातकाल कॉग्रेस सीपीएम विजेपी डोमकल गुरुतर आहत हो रही तो क्या बार बार जरा बोलो केंद्रीय बाहन चाहिए केंद्रीय बाहन चाहिए
All right, our political editor Pallavi Ghosh, who's been tracking all these developments live on Ground Zero, is joining me on the phone line with more details. Uh, Pallavi, the governor of Bengal had said this is this ought to be the most sacred day for West Bengal as far as sacred day of democracy is concerned. And today it's the ruin of democracy, going by what the governor has to say. Take us through what is the kind of violence that West Bengal is witnessing at the moment. See, you know, the unfortunate part is that there was a time when, you know, when we used to talk about poll violence, we used to talk about states like Haryana, Uttar Pradesh or Bihar. Right. But now when we talk about poll violence, we actually talk about West Bengal. I saw that happening during the state elections and especially when the results came out and in panchayat elections also, which is ordinary, the lowest level were very important elections because that's the basis of what is called the grassroots democracy. Right. It's been mired by several acts of violence and which actually hit every political party with claims coming in from the team BJP and the Congress as well. The particularly sensitive areas like Bhangur and, for example, in Kuch Bihar, that is North Bengal, Mushidabad, Malda, these are the worst affected areas where there are reports of attacks on uh, houses of many of the candidates. They've been vandalized. Uh, ballot papers have been thrown. Uh, many candidates have been attacked. Party workers have also been attacked. This even as the governor is doing the rounds of some of the key areas. And because of court orders, the central forces have been deployed especially in the sensitive areas. But that's where the politics has begun, with the uh, Trinamool Congress taking pot shots, asking those who wanted central forces to be deployed. They are the ones who are actually uh, are stopping and intimidating the voters from going and voting for the Trinamool Congress. As far as the BJP is concerned, they feel that the central forces were required because uh, the state administration, the state election commission, was only working under the orders of the Mumta Banerjee government. So they were not non-partisan. So in the midst of all this, all I can say one is thing is heartening is that we still see long lines outside mm. and inside mm. the polling booths. And I think that's the real win for democracy. And that is exactly what I was coming to, Pallavi. Uh, what has been the voter turnout like, considering you are on ground level right now? You said that this is heartening to see. There are long queues. But what about these areas that are witnessing violence? How has voter turnout been impacted over there? Bhangor in, in, in Nandandigram, which is also considered to be a sensitive area, in East Pendipur, where I was there early in the morning, Kuch Bihar, the voter turnouts have been fairly good. And the interesting part is women are the ones who are out in large numbers. And many of them are coming with their little children. Pallavi, I'm so which... sorry to interrupt you there. In fact, I'm joined in uh, by the BGP state president, Shukant Majumdar, on the phone line. Many thanks to you, Mr. Majumdar. Uh, it is a dark day for democracy in West Bengal today. The TMC is alleging that it is your party which is responsible for this violence going by what uh, Suvendu Adhikari had to say the story is the other way around uh, what are your thoughts See, really it is a dark day for the democracy in this country and in the state of West Bengal already we have lost five six people from the morning and all this, this is due to the uh, carelessness callousness and incapability of the state election commission as well as the state administration they are doing nothing to, uh, to cope with this condition. It is totally violent, uh, dominated state now. People are moving with arms and all kind of bombs. They are doing, they are creating violence, and that is the problem. No one is do, doing their action taking any necessary action in this regard. Mr. Majumdar, when we talk about the state of democracy, is what is what is being witnessed in West Bengal today, is this also not a complete, utter disregard for the judiciary as well? Because clearly, the orders passed by the High Court have been defied. It is, it is total disrespect uh, towards judiciary by the State Election Commission because uh, the judiciary has directed the State Election Commission to uh, uh, deploy the central forces in all the booths. That, but the State Election Commission, as I have already stated, is a reckless, gala State Election Commission, and they have not, the, even they have, don't have the guts to obey the court, -like, court direction also. Mr. They clearly violated the court direction. Mr. Bajram, that till yesterday, the TNC said that the central uh, forces are not enough to cover the boots. How do you react to those allegations that the central forces have not been deliberately deployed in adequate numbers to cover all poll boots? If the central forces is not adequate, then the election commission should revise the election uh, tenure. Whether it should be in one phase, whether it should be more than one phase. They have the right to take the decision. 
the election commissioner has the right but the problem the election commission problem is that the election commissioner is not trying to uh, perform his duty that's the problem Mr. Bajumdar, uh, we heard Suvendu Adhikari earlier say that he'll go ahead with a contempt petition on Tuesday. What does your party now intend to do? Obvious, obvious the contempt of court will file a case uh, against this election commission because election commission totally disobeyed the, uh, uh, state, uh, the high court. All right, Mr. Bajumdar, thank you for joining in with those details. We do hope that... The voter turnout is not impacted by this violence, which does seem like a slim possibility. But for now, many thanks to you, Mr. Majumdar, for joining in. And with that, let's quickly bring you a ground report by our correspondent, Kamalika Sen Gupta, who's been reporting on the Bengal uh, Panchayat polls. <laughs> So we are in Bhangor, Polar Heart, and as you can see that uh, uh, there is huge line here, uh, and and this is a the couple of booths are there in this uh, in this school, and uh, people are standing in line. But what we don't see is uh, is the central force. Uh, it's not there. Uh, a couple of booths. We have been travelling to a couple of booths from the morning, and a uh, lot of booths in Bhangor, though it's a sensitive area. We don't see central force there. Uh, that's that's a that's a very interesting thing. Yes, we are. There is the central force in this in this in this place in this booth. Uh, so that is that is, and we see central force and also state police there in 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 this Bhangor booth. Uh, and you can see that people are in wrong queue. The, the bhaiya yahan pe central force hai. Central force hai. Ha, central force hai. Uh, Char. 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 So you can see that this is the second booth in Bhangor where we can we have seen that central forces are there and huge number of people they have come to cast their vote. Uh, Dada, aap kya vote cast karne aaye hai? Ji. सेंट्रल फोर्सेज एज भांगो इज अ वेरी सेंसिटिव प्लेस सो दे आर डिप्लॉयमेंट टू सेंट्रल फोर्सेज वॉज रिक्वायर्ड एंड यू कैन सी सेंट्रल फोर्सेज हियर इन दिस बूथ ऑफ भांगो दिस इज कोमालिका सिंह गुप्ता विद अंशु मान रॉय रिपोर्टिंग फॉर सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन फॉर भांगो एंड बिश्वजी देव ऑफ द टी एम सी इज ज्वाइनिंग मी ऑन द फोन लाइन मिस्टर देव टी एम सी एंड बीजेपी कंटिन्यू टू ट्रेड चार्जेस और ब्लेम्स ओवर हुज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस वायलेंस दैट वेस्ट बेंगाल इज विटनेसिंग टूडे वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू से वट एवर इज हैपनिंग सिंस मॉर्निंग इट इज एब्सोल्युटली हैपनिंग एट द इंस्टेंस ऑफ द ऑपोजिशन लेड बाई बीजेपी सी पी आई एम आई एस एफ एंड कांग्रेस You can see that out of the nine casualties, more than six people are from TMC. They are all TMC workers and leaders. Three of our workers have been killed in only Mushirabad district, and then again in Malda. So you can understand that the opposition is playing havoc. They are trying to just create a total violence in Bengal and try to project that. there is a lawlessness situation here but in most of the booths in most of the places where votes are going on it's going on in a peaceful manner except some of these places where the opposition is trying to create nuisance by hired hooligans and they are doing it deliberately to malign the all india trinamool congress to malign the state government to malign the state election commission but unfortunately whatever incident has happened today you see out of the nine deaths six of them are from pmc if pmc wants to create violence if pmc wants a violence why will our workers and leaders be killed you can understand that in howrah you see there is no violence in mindapur there is nothing in south 24 pagana it is going on peacefully in north 24 pargana it is going on peacefully it is only in some places where there are some opposition 
people like Congress in Mushidabad, they have deliberately killed our workers. Mr. Dev, the but, morning, but, but, but the BJP, also, but the BJP, also, going BJP, by what Suvetu Adhikari has to say, he's saying that the police is working at behest of Mamta Banerjee only to instigate this violence further. How do you react to that kind uh, of accusation Shubhendu, coming in? Subendu Adhikari is a liar. He is deliberately spreading all these lies and he is trying whatever incidents are happening. You are, you, are, you are witnessing in Bengal. It is at the provocation of Subhendu Adhikari. His party, BJP, is leading all these violences. In Kujbihar, what has happened? In Kujbihar, our workers have been killed. Our workers have been attacked. Our workers are injured. Not only in Kujbihar. Mr. Dev, it would be unfair to say that it is only your workers who have been injured. There are workers from other parties as well who have been injured. Yes, you are talking I'm, about I'm, the six I'm workers. What repeating. about the remaining three? What about the remaining three? Repeating. Then let's I talk about the police, the role of the police. The police is still under All your India administration. All India Trinamool Congress does not believe in violence. We believe that it is a democracy. And people of Bengal are with Mamta Banerjee. People of Bengal are with Abhishek Banerjee. People of Bengal are with All India Trinamool Congress. Mr. Dev, if you say that you believe, if you believe Bengal, in democracy, Bengal. then let's talk about the lawlessness in your state right now, which is being governed by your the party. I, I am again repeating, whatever you are witnessing, it is being done at the provocation of the opposition. The opposition is deliberately provoking the violence. What about Mushidabad? You tell me. Our workers, three workers have been killed in the morning. Who has done this? It's totally the entire incident. The Congress is responsible for that. Uh, Mr. Dev, Kujibiyar, there was a lot of discussion about the, the lack of central forces. Are you also saying that uh, the centre has not paid heed by your government to provide enough of uh, central forces to cover those booths adequately in West Bengal today? Central forces are there. Central forces have been deployed under the orders of the High Court. But I wonder what the central forces are doing. What the central forces are doing? Are they, are they actually trying to stop this violence? Are they actually trying to stop the opposition? Are they actually trying to stop the BJP and the other opposition from, from creating this violence? No, they are not doing this. This is, again, I am repeating at the instance of the opposition. Opposition led by BJP, whatever it is. All right, Mr. Biswajit, Dev, many that. thanks to you for joining in on CNN News 18 with your thoughts. And with that, let me quickly go across to Kamalika Sen Gupta, who continues to bring us the live updates from Ground Zero. Um, Kamalika, horrifying day, of course. Uh, something that was expected going by the kind of pre-poll violence that West Bengal has been witnessing. But look at the trade, uh, the blame game that's being traded between the TMC and the BJP. Going by what the BJP is saying, it is the TMC and TMC saying that it is the BJP. And right now, we heard Bishwajit Dev, in fact, highlight the fact that there are six workers from TMC who've died. As far as the death toll is concerned, it stays at nine right now. Uh, could you tell me who are those remaining three workers who've also died? See, we are getting uh, the BJP workers are also there in uh, till the uh, clearly their identification has not come. But obviously the BJP workers are also there. That's what we are getting it from the uh, ground. But the big question is both of the parties, all the parties are blaming each other. Mm. But who pe the people who are facing this, people who are, you know, firing is taking place, bombing is taking place, people are dying, common people are dying, you know, that they might be supporters from mm. any political party what all the political parties knew that this this apprehension was there so now the big question some of the experts are raising is that why there is was no consensus by all the political parties to have one election violence free election for Trinamool Congress they did not wanted to have violence because that is going to be encashed by BJP but still in spite of so much of Mamta Banerjee's uh, direction Abhishek Banerjee's direction on the poll day there is violence now we can't say that this is normal and this is Bengal's culture and mm -hmm. that's why you know we compare it whether there was 43 deaths on 2003 and now whether there is a less number of deaths in today you know there, there can be, cannot be any comparison with lesser violence and more violence on the other hand the the other party the opposition party they are also you know they are also in that in that blame game they are also saying they are not able to come out but what where they are strong like in Murshidabad 
Congress hitting up the B, I, I'm, I mean Trinamool Congress workers. Congress, uh, there are allegations against the Congress killing the Trinamool Congress. What's happening in Deen Hatta? Their BJP is strong. So, you know, both the parties, all the parties together, there seems to be no consensus on having a peaceful election. And this election politically is going to be very important for all of them. Right. For Lok Sabha. Right. So, for this reason also, they would have done. All right, uh, Kamalika, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Uh, we'll have to quickly, quickly cut, cut across to Varak.